Hello guys, welcome back to Mnemonics Mania. This is Priyanshi wishing you all a very very happy Dasera and Vijaya Dasimi. So these few days there were no video from my side because obviously I didn't study and I don't think so anybody studies in the Poojas. Hope you all had a great safe and healthy Poojas. Now coming back to studies, today we have a topic of biochemistry which is also important for NEET aspirants. The topic is classification of enzymes. Now there are six classes of enzymes that we need to remember in sequence. But in the pile of so much information we tend to forget it. So today we have brought a mnemonic for you on this. But before that, let's get an overview of the topic enzyme. So, enzymes are proteinaceous compounds that act as biocatalyst in the living system. Also, they are soluble and colloidal in nature. The enzymes become inactive at 0 degree Celsius and are destroyed at 100 degree Celsius. Now before we see anything else, let's see the mechanism of enzyme. So in the picture in front of you, you can see that a substrate binds to the enzyme to form an enzyme substrate complex which then gives products and the enzyme as it is. So here we have another picture for you which is shown in a cartoon manner. Here you can appreciate that the substrate binds to the enzyme, forms an enzyme substrate complex and then forms the product and the enzyme. So this was a basic mechanism of how enzymes work. Now there are various factors that uh, influence enzyme action. Now, we are going to see some of the factors here. First is enzyme concentration. When substrate concentration is unlimited, the graph of the velocity of enzyme reaction varies linearly. In the graph in front of you, you can appreciate that the velocity of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the enzyme. Next factor that we have is substrate concentration. In the graph, you can appreciate that the velocity increases initially but then flattens. Here we have a constant known as Michelius constant which is defined as the substrate concentration at half of the maximum volume. It is independent of enzyme concentration. When the enzyme is doubled, Vmax will be doubled, but half of Vmax remains the same. Next factor we have is temperature. Now, each enzyme has an optimum temperature below or above which there are changes in the graph. In the graph, you can see the optimum temperature for this particular enzyme. When there is increase in temperature, it accelerates the enzyme reaction but also causes inactivation of enzymes due to denaturation of the protein as we know that all enzymes are proteinaceous compounds. Now the next factor that we have up here is pH. Each enzyme has its optimum pH just like the optimum temperature on both sides of which enzyme activity decreases. Mostly this takes to you can see the optimum pH is shown for this particular enzyme. Now examples are in pepsin which works at pH 1 to 2, alkaline phosphatase at 9 to 10. Now the next factor that affects enzyme activity is radiation. The enzyme activity is lost by radiation. The last factor for today is inhibiting agents. 
Now you see the enzyme activity is inhibited by salts, heavy metal, fluorides and such more compounds. In the graph shown here you can see how drastically the graph decreases when inhibiting agents are used. Now finally the topic you have been waiting for that is classification of enzymes. Now before we start with this topic guys I request you all to please like share and uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications. And please do comment if you like the video because it motivates us to make more such videos for you. Now we have six classes of enzymes out of which class 1 is oxidoreductase which is concerned with the transfer of hydrogen. The example of oxidoreductase is alcohol dehydrogenase. Next class is class 2 that is transferase. It is involved with transropes other than hydrogen. Example of this group is hexokinase. Next group class 3 is hydrolases which cleaves bond like ester, ether etc by adding water. Example of this group is acetylcholine esterase. Next group that is class 4 is lyases. This group cleaves without adding water. Example of this group is aldolase. Next we have class 5 which is isomerase. This is associated with the intramolecular transfer. Example of this group is triose phosphate isomerase. The last group that is class 6 is ligase. This is associated with the ATP dependent condensation of two molecules. Example of this group is acetyl-CoA carboxylase. Now, how to remember all these classes of enzymes in a sequence? So, let's see the mnemonic for today. Oh Tom, have this lollipop. I guess everyone likes lollipop. Ice cream. This though definitely everyone likes. And lasagna, which is one of my favorites. Now let's see what all these words individually mean. O is oxidoreductase. Tom is transferase. Have is hydrolases. Lollipop stands for lyases. Ice cream is isomerase. And lasagna is ligase. So this was a mnemonic for today guys. I hope all of you liked it. And before you forget, I must make you remember, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And also uh, follow me on Insta. Till then, happy learning, stay safe, sanitize and keep studying. Bye.